Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, free to play summons. Am I right? Uh, I actually have saved up enough that we have a bunch of banners we can summon on with a lot of tickets. So for example, we still have the book six banner. We got all the tickets for that. Uh, we've got a weekly revival banner. Whatever this is, focus for ardent sacrifice, sure. The legendary banner, which I feel like we'll probably spend most of the most of the time on. Uh, the double special, which has five tickets, which is great. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff. Um, November itself uh, was was pretty good for just account boosting in general. Uh, December, we're kind of getting there, right? Uh, this banner isn't anything too spectacular for new accounts, but the legendary banner, uh, the double special banner, those are all really really solid. Uh, for maybe newer accounts, or maybe accounts that are just uh, unluckier on the free-to-play spectrum. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what we can grab here. I am excited to do a little summoning on the free-to-play. Uh, all of these are, are here for us to use. I'm not going to use all of them. I'd like to keep about 100 left, uh, if that's at all possible. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start... Uh, on this banner. This one seems maybe the most useful, I guess. Colorless and red seem like good gets. I probably won't pull anything other than colorless and red, and I'll probably just go for the tickets that we've got, uh, and we'll just we'll take it from there. We'll see what we can get. Uh, I'm also not 100% sure what our barracks currently look like, so we may have to do some jump editing. <laughs> Because I'm not sure where it's going to uh, where it's going to cut us off, unfortunately. But hey, fingers crossed that that doesn't actually happen or become an issue. That would be dope. Uh, as cool as it would be to have uh, our big beefy green man, I don't think that's a huge priority for us. So probably just going to give that the uh, the wave about here. Actually, let me check barracks real quick, just just for the sake of safety. All right, now we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, we had like three until we were at cap, so good thing I switched it while I thought about it. Ooh, that's unfortunate. One red, one useful, one useful stone out of this whole circle. But it's free, so I guess it's not really worth complaining about, you know. Well, Sylvia action here, not really anything we need. The tickets are waning. Ooh, okay. So we can use three of these. Love to see that. There's hope. Honestly, the Legendary Mythic Banner are really, like, the big get here. I think that's still the most dominant banner on the cycle at the moment. Um, but we'll try to get Flavia. I think she's maybe worth it. I... Uh, junior, maybe, maybe not so much. Uh, but it never hurts to give a little try here. It really is just kind of a... Uh, it's a privilege to even just kind of pull on these. Hey, Nyx! Uh, that's not, that's not bad. That's not terrible. And I think she's new. Yeah, she's new. We did not summon her at all. Uh, no bad Banes. I think we can make that work. Um, and she's a decent null follow-up unit, so that's cool. Alright. Uh, I think I've seen some tanky builds work with her. I don't know that I'll actually build her on this account, because uh, I think she requires resources that A, I don't have, and B, I'm not probably willing to spend. Uh, so, uh, we'll probably take a pass on Nyx, but cool that we got her, I guess, for catalog. That's, uh, it's dragon flowers. Yeah, if, if nothing else, it's it's dragon flowers. Can't ever be upset about that. I think we're just gonna pull colorless here because I don't want to use that many orbs on this banner. And we'll just see if we get lucky. I mean, we got a random Nyx, right? So I mean, how how hard is it? You know, how hard is it? Oh, I never put Nyx up there. I'm sorry. We'll put her up there now. How about that? Completely forgot to put Nyx on the board. Feels bad, bruh. Uh, and we have a Sizo. That's fun. Love that for us. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. As much as I'd like to, I'll I'll back out. We got one ticket left. Okay, yeah, there's a lot to pull here. I genuinely feel bad burning orbs on anything other than the legendary banner right now because you know, it's literally that good. It's literally that good for accounts, and that that doesn't always happen with legendary banners. So if you were debating as to whether or not you should pull on this banner, you definitely should. Uh, I think the, the legendary mythic banner right now is definitely worth your time, especially if you don't have a lot of those heroes. It's a good time in case you do lose the one in three that you're after. Uh, there's not really a downside, which is great. And we got a fallen Tiki. Well, <laughs> that's one thing. Wait, is fallen Tiki... Is she not a four star special? Is Fallen Tiki not a four star special? What? I thought she was. Did I just miss that part? I don't think that I did. Am I losing my mind? I think I'm losing my mind. Uh, that's interesting. Well. Uh, I suppose that, uh, we'll count it? Or is it just because she's new? I swear, I thought she was a four-star special. Um, I didn't see the animation, though, so that's interesting. Huh. Curious. Uh, well, minus defenses feels a little bad, but, uh, I guess that, that is what it is. We're just gonna, you know, we're gonna take our loss. We're just going to take our losses here <laughs> move on. Um, we're 12 deep. I mean, I guess we could theoretically spark. I don't really know that anything is super beneficial. I guess we're going blue. I feel like colorless going for Elise is maybe the better option on this particular banner just because she's still one of the better healers out there. Um, for the longest time, she had the highest attack of any healer. I don't know if that's still the case, but we're not going to find out today. Uh, Bernie, I think, is probably the go-to here. Yep. But we're not going to pull for Bernie. We're just going to... We're going to take our shot and see if we get lucky. We are not. <laughs> it is a Lena, who, uh, ironically, is a healer. Plus speed. Okay, fair enough. Uh, then we got the legendary banner. Let's dip on that for a second. Ooh, let's hop into this guy. Um, so this one had some options. I know Duo Erica was a pretty big get here. Uh, Green, I think, had Inigo and... Who else was on here? I don't think it was Katria, right? Pretty sure it wasn't Katria. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Katria. The duo Erica would be a great get. Uh, duo duo Erica is just you know like any kid unit, just absolutely busted. Uh, shoot, it was Anigo and who else? I think we're gonna back out. Oh shoot, it was Sita. Yeah, that was probably worth it to be honest. Although I don't know that we have her. I feel like we don't. Maybe we do. I should probably double check, shouldn't I? Before we run into a uh, a real ninja Corrin situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably worth. It's probably worth. Uh, green is okay. I think colorless and blue on this particular banner are a bit of a mix um, because they are both color sharing with a four star option. So that's a little iffy unless of course you're trying to plus 10 one of the four stars then it's great uh let me just double check real quick let me just take a little looky loo just to make sure we're not uh making a huge mistake i don't think we have her no that's that's not it that's not it there it is all right so we don't have duo Sita. um so i think green is safe to pull i think red is safe to pull um, so that's all pretty fine. I think I'm gonna not pull on any other color though. There, there's not that big of a benefit. 
to that. Oh, Tiki. Someday you'll get a Resplendent. And then you'll get the nice stat boost that you so desperately need. Uh, I'm probably going to give my Tiki Dragon Ball, to be honest. I have uh, I have a Must Spell. It's just burning a hole in my pocket, quite literally. <laughs> I think I'm going to father him off. So we may do that. Who knows? Anything can happen on Fave Fridays, am I right? Uh, which may or may not be the day that we're streaming. Today? Could be tomorrow. I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, point being, we still have tickets. No greens. That feels bad. I'm glad I pulled the greens when I... Oh, no, I didn't pull those for two, did I? That's a bummer. Oh, well. One of them was probably see that, and I messed up huge. <laughs> Uh, as controversial as the art may be, Duo Sita is still pretty solid, so. Um, hey, there we go. There's green. I will pull that one. Now that I know, there's no real down shot to hitting green. Love that for us. What we got? Barst. The barstiest of barsts. I love being able to pull on the Legendary Mythic Banner 2 because there's not really a down shot to pulling on that because i don't think i think we have fallen dimitri and i think that's it I, I don't think we have anybody else we might have note i think we have dogger but beyond that i don't really know that we have anybody all right last ticket we got two greens that will roll on that's fine by me uh, i have no issue leaving this banner at seven percent if we don't happen to get a five star here so we'll take what we get. Titania. Love a Titania. Waiting for resplendent Titania too. Neutral. Interesting. And then that leaves us with 60 orbs for what I think is arguably the main event. Really? So we'll see what we can get here. A Ryson. Well, Ryson, Ryson. However you'd prefer to pronounce it. Uh, that, I think, is it for those. So here we go. Really no down shot. Green is OP as heck. Colorless is OP as heck. There's really no down shot. Uh, getting a legendary Makai would be dope on this account, but uh, I don't really think it's super necessary. We do have a just a regular old Makai, which is great. Love to see that. Uh, blue. Should we pull blue? No, we should pull blue. Red is great. Red is a great get, no matter what. Blue, I don't really think we need. We have, Ironically, for this account, we have a lot of good Lance users already. Uh, so I don't know that blue is a good investment of our expenditure. But red, green, colorless, absolutely. All good options. Never know what we'll get here. Hopefully we get something besides two off-focus pulls, <laughs> which I'll have to go back and double check. I, I'll know in editing, I guess. I will know when I edit the video. Uh, but I could have sworn Tiki was a four-star special because I'm pretty hard in his, right? So maybe it's just because we hadn't had her before and it didn't, the animation didn't pop up, but I didn't think that mattered. I probably just wasn't paying attention. That's what it comes down to. Uh, red and colorless, we can roll on. Love to see that. It is good times. Muspel, not who I was hoping we'd see. Uh, that is the downside, isn't it, folks? Uh, of all of the... Of all the potential that red has. Sometimes you get a muspel. That kind of sucks. But hey, maybe he is good. Maybe maybe we will give Dragon Wall to someone. <laughs> maybe we'll just give Dragon Wall to somebody. Who knows? Who knows what uh, what we could do. He is new, at least. Plus speed minus attack. Yeah. Well, not ideal. Not an ideal situation that we find ourselves in, but... There we go. I think Muspel is honestly one of the weaker units on this banner overall. So that's a bit of a that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, very much could have used a Plumeria. Very much could have used a Sigurd, but here we are with neither of those options before us. 
yeah, Moonspell is honestly the weakest option here, which, I mean, isn't saying a whole lot, because everybody on the banner is basically stacked, but still. <laughs> disappointing. Very disappointing to have a Moonspell show up when it could have been uh, a Sigurd. A Sigurd on this account would honestly be, like, huge, but it is what it is. We make do without it. <laughs> What's really going to be interesting is trying to get Petra and the upper echelons of Summoner's Duels. Uh, I've already decided we're going to do a Petra team for that, because in the spirit of Jenna, right, uh, we're going to we're gonna try and take Miss Petra to the top. Ogma might be easier, <laughs> to be honest, but... Uh, that's okay. We got an E-Tree. Okay. All right. Hey, look, I don't like E-Tree. <laughs> I'll be the first one to confirm that for you, but I will gladly use her busted kit to, like, do some kind of good for my reward accumulation. Okay, so that's not terrible. Uh, that could be worse, but we're not touching attack, which is the main draw here. A Thor would also be great. We don't have a lot of great green options on the account, which is mainly why I'm a big fan of green on the Mythic for this right now. So, fingers crossed that, you know, we get something decent, but that doesn't seem to be what's happening here. Uh, and we might have another go at it. Fingers crossed for something good, preferably a Thor. Say Mustafa if I had ever seen one. So there's that. Still have a shot at Sigurd, which would be huge. Uh, or a Plumeria, who would be a really good dancer to have. <gasps> oh my, it happened. See, if you just ask nicely, sometimes good things come. <laughs> All right, Siggy, welcome to the team, buddy. Oh my, you'll do very nicely in that new game mode, my guy. Where are you? Is that good? I'm not sure if that's good. Uh, I don't know if that's good. I'm looking up his stats real quick just because I know you guys are probably screaming at your computer or mobile device right now yeah plus speed's not great that's not really ideal for us but that's fine you know attack is untouched and hp isn't like that big of a deal i think uh, no okay so that's fine we can make do with that we can make do with it we can be fine with this again i don't think i have a plumeria on here i'm pretty sure that i don't pretty sure that i don't but then again, having two Plumerias for, like, Aether Raids? Sign me up. Fine with that. Okay. Alright, you know what? We'll just we'll roll on every stone. How about that? And then we'll just call it there. Because uh, I would be comfortable letting it go at 8.5%. And just kind of waiting to see. The other big ticket is, you know, while the video is today... Uh, the banner doesn't necessarily go away before we get a calendar and probably some silhouettes, I would think. It's really nice that they gave such a stacked banner such a longer time. Um, because normally, the, like I've seen a legendary mythic banner last like four days before. Um, so there's, there's really like a big factor of like a fear of missing out situation. Um, that I feel like, you know, the dev team was like, eh, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not make them regret their life choices. So, uh, there's a good opportunity for you if you're, if you're patient enough, if you have that skill set <laughs> to, you know, resist impulse. Uh, you've got some time to kind of just wait it out. See what's, what's going to come down the pike. Uh, dude, anybody on Cutlass would be absolutely epic. It'd be an epic get. Uh, getting a Plumeria and then one of the focuses for Colorless would be so sick right here. But that is a lofty order. And one that we're not going to get, but that's fine. There is still hope. And we'll still have 90 orbs, which is pretty good. That's pretty solid. 
I know that Jenna's probably going to fall in love with somebody on the Winter Banner, and so I want to give opportunity for that. Uh, but historically, I don't think Winter Banners have been all that meta-defining. Um, Alicia. Bummer. Oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think the Winter Banners have been, like, super crazy. Like, did you know Duo Marth is still a thing? Um, some people don't remember that Duo Marth is a thing. <laughs> Uh, I think Winter Fae was really good at one point. Uh, Winter Erica was like our first armored healer, I want to say. Uh, then we had Winter Sothis, who saw a little bit of traction, but kind of got outclassed early on, I think, or just didn't get used that much. But uh, either way, I think this was a good get. Honestly, getting Sigurd was huge. Not getting another Muspel was also huge. That was awesome. Um, but these these are all good for the free to play account. We'll we'll try and do some more with that in live streams probably, uh, especially with summoners duels. I think uh, that'll be nice, especially with a nice option for um, you know doing some some viewer or member interaction. Uh, having an account that's not super OP like a legendary Micaiah, <laughs> perhaps uh, might you know make people feel a little more comfortable and less intimidated to. Uh, to join in so uh we can take this account on that too uh so that's kind of nice i'm glad i have that account for this purpose now um but yeah that's it those are the free to play summons that we had kind of lined up i wanted to get a bunch in a row so that we could do some and just make a time out of it uh and i can just talk at you for like 20 minutes straight so there you go uh hey if you liked this video be sure to drop a like on it likes are very helpful believe me um, but that's it for right now. Daily uploads continue. I think I have the rest of the week figured out. Yay. <laughs> it's Monday when I'm recording this. Or Tuesday? Tuesday. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this. Time has no meaning anymore. That's it for now. Uh, drop a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. Very much appreciate it. We're trying to hit 10k by the end of the year. Not gonna happen? Maybe. But, you can say you did your part to try. Uh, Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Subscribe, come back for more. And until then, I will catch you next time.